Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you a quick trick on how to add images into the text web part on your SharePoint pages. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have this uh, human resources employee face inside, and I have a bunch of text in here, and I want to add some images uh, as well uh, to my text. Now, typically, typically, how would you add an image? You typically would edit the page, and you need maybe to add an image web part uh, to it if I want to embed an image. So, uh, and in my case, let's just say I want to drag and drop an image. So you can browse to it, but I'm just going to drag and drop. I have this nice image over here, just drag and drop. And here it is, here's my image. But here's the deal. Unfortunately, because I have this text uh, web part and then uh, the image web part below it, uh, right, it's kind of disconnected, all right? I want my image maybe uh, between some paragraphs in here, uh, all right, maybe to complement uh, some of the text. And um, it just, yeah, if I need to embed a bunch of images, it just, I have to add a bunch of different, you know, uh, image web parts and break this text into multiple text web parts, uh, which is not nice. So let me show you the alternative. So let's delete that. What you can do again, I'll start from scratch, um, you know, I'll start fresh. So I'm going to edit the page, all right? So the page is obviously in the edit mode. And let's just say I want my image over here, all right? In between those few sentences. So just literally drag and drop the image where you want it to be. And look at this, uh, my image right now uh, uh, appears, um, you know, in between these two sentences. Uh, but, you know, I don't want all of this extra white space. What you can do, you can actually align it over here. So you see, I can do something like this or something like this. So this way my image appears nicely, uh, kind of um, uh, in between the, the, the text and I don't have, end up with all those different white space on, on each side of the image. And of course you can do other things, you know, in terms of the image, you know, I can reduce the size or, increase the size, they can add a, a caption just like I can with the image web part. Uh, but I thought this uh, trick was really cool uh, because uh, especially if you are using SharePoint, let's say uh, to create some uh, you know, knowledge base, maybe you are creating some instructions uh, you know, with a bunch of bullet points and images. Um, now uh, there is a really nice way to combine both the images as well as text within one text web part. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, quick video. Hopefully you learned something new. I was always happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.